Shiny and welcome back to my channel. So before I even get into this video, I really want you guys to pause it right now and comment down below which side you think is high end. Is this side high end or is this side high end? And then you can unpause the video and come back. So in today's video, I'm doing half my face with high end, half my face with drugstore. And I'm super excited because I think it turned out really well. I think both sides look very, very similar. And I have some amazing, amazing drugstore products to share with you. A lot of dupes and oh my god, this is going to be amazing. So let's go ahead and jump straight into the video. On my high end side, I'm going to take my MAC Fluid Line Brow Gel Cream in the shade True Brunette. I absolutely love this product so much. This is my favorite brow product. And then on the drugstore side, I'm going to take the Chi 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 really? The Chi Chi Brow Pomade in the shade Medium Brown. I haven't used this one yet, but the color looks pretty good. It's a little bit dark, but let's work with it, shall we? So starting with the MAC product, I'm just going to fill my brows in as I normally do. Oh my god, I literally am obsessed with this product. It just glides on so nicely. It's really creamy. Ooh. So I just wiped the brush off so there's no additional product and I'm going to dip this in to see what formula. Oh my god, that is very moussey. Oh my god, this is so pigmented. Alright, so I'm actually really, really impressed with this Chi Chi product. Like, I have nothing bad to say at all. It's so easy to apply, so creamy, and I'm just like obsessed with it. And then to conceal my brows on the high end side, I'm taking the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in the shade NC20. So I'm just going to put a really small amount there and just carve them out. On the other side, I'm going to take the NYX HD Concealer. This one is a really thick, moussey consistency. So I do much prefer the MAC concealer, but let's move on. I'm going to go in and prime my eyelids with that same MAC concealer on this side. This does such a good job at covering veins and discoloration and all that. And then using a different brush, I'm just going to prime the other side. So the NYX concealer definitely does dry out a lot quicker. You have to work really fast with it. Um... But it still does cover really, really well. Now it's time for the eyeshadow. I'm taking the It Cosmetics Naturally Pretty palette. And I'm going to pick up the shade Sunset right here. And this is going to go directly in the crease. So I want to do kind of like a warm autumn fall kind of look today. Oh my god. That is so pigmented. I haven't used this palette in the longest time. I literally just picked up the smallest amount. Oh my god, this is beautiful. So, wiping off this brush, then I'm going to take the Chi Chi Spices palette, which I only picked up the other day, and I'm so excited about it, because when I swatched it, the colors were just, like, incredible. Let me swatch a few so you can see what I mean. Like, this is a drugstore palette, and look how pigmented that is! Now taking this shade in the crease, just like this side. So, this one is the high-end product, this one is the Chi Chi. So, as you can see, they're both just as pigmented as each other. There is just a slight color change. I would say this one's just a bit more warm and a bit darker. All right, let's do this. I would say it's taking a few minutes more just to blend out the edges and the other one. Now going in with the Violet Voss Holy Grail eyeshadow palette, I'm going to take the shade Brownie Points right here. And this one is going to go directly in the crease to warm it up a little bit. So I'm just taking a smaller blending brush and popping it right in here. And then on the other side, I'm going to take this shade right here, and it's blending just as well as the Violet Voss one. Now going in with the shade Cranberry Splash from the Violet Voss palette, I'm going to put this on the inner corner and the outer corner. I'm going to do a bit of a halo eye today. Even though it's like a comparison video, I still want the makeup look to look pretty. So I'm just going to pat this down so it's as pigmented as it can be. And of course, wiping that brush off, then I'm going in with this color right here, which isn't as like foiled, but it still is a very shimmery shade. And then I'm going to take the shade Toffee, which is a beautiful, bright, shimmery gold. I'm just going to put this directly in the middle. So I'm just going to fade the two colors over the top of each other. 
And then on the other side, I'm going to take this color right here. Now moving on to the face, on the high-end side, I'm taking the Makeup Forever Hydrating Primer. I honestly haven't used this before, and if I have, I can't remember if it was good or not. So let's put it to the test today. Oh my god, it's so moisturizing. So anyways, let's move on to the other side. This is the NYX Angel Veil Primer. I use this all the time. It is a really thick, like, consistency. As you can see right there, um, it's not as easy to blend in because it is kind of like, it feels kind of dry when you rub it in. Um, but it makes my face feel so smooth. Then for foundation, I'm going to take the Marc Jacobs Remarkable Foundation. I have the shade 54. I'm just going to dot this on my face. I'm going to match it to my fake tan neck. I'm just going to buff this into my skin. Oh my god, this like covers absolutely everything. I'm also going to blend it down my neck as well because my tan has faded a tiny bit. I feel like you do have to work really fast with this foundation because it is kind of like dry. I bet you've never seen anything like this before. Look at the difference. So I'm going to take a different brush for the other side and I'm taking the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundation. I absolutely love this foundation. I'm in the shade 310 Sun Beige. This one feels quite moisturizing when you put it on the face because it's more of like a wet consistency. Um, but it isn't as full coverage as the Marc Jacobs one, but it still has a really, really nice like medium coverage. I'd probably prefer this coverage over this one because I feel like this one's just like a mask. But it definitely is good for like special occasions and stuff. Now it's time for concealer to lighten up my complexion a bit. So I'm taking the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer in the shade Light Neutral. This is my holy grail concealer. It is absolutely amazing. So I'm just going to paint this on my face. Why not? And then just dab this in. I'm also going to clean up this eyeshadow line as well. I'm also just highlighting my chin and up here a bit, just for a bit more dimension. On the other side, I'm taking the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade 15. I absolutely love this concealer. Oh my god, I think this is a light shade. This concealer is probably my favorite drugstore concealer. I'm just taking a bit of MAC Prep and Prime on the other side because I didn't realize how bright that Maybelline concealer was. So just blending this in with the other side of the Beauty Blender. Now let's set that concealer down in place. So I'm going to take my Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder on this side, just blending out any creases before I do that. And start baking. The only baking I'll ever do. And on the other side, I'm taking the Rimmel Match Perfection Silky Loose Face Powder. I've never actually used this to bake, so this is going to be very interesting. Just slipping the Beauty Blender around again. Now to set my face, I'm taking the MAC Select Sheer Press Powder in the shade NC40. And I'm just going to pat this right on. I actually don't have a drugstore powder that's like that has any color to it. But I do know that the Astralis Fresh and Flawless Powder is like amazing. Probably even better than this. Then with a different brush, I'm going to take the Rimmel Stay Matte Transparent Powder. I really hope this doesn't leave a white cast on my face. I'm just going to dab this in. Now for the lower lash line again, I'm going to take the shade Sunset and put this from inner corner to outer corner. And then taking this shade on the other side. Oh my god, my eyes starting to leak. Please stop, please. And then taking those gold shades again and I'm just going to put them right in the middle of my lower lash line. You can definitely tell the Violet Voss shade under there is a lot more shimmery than this gold. Now going in with the Benefit Roller Lash on the left side. I'm just going to coat my top and bottom lashes. And then on the other side, I'm sure you guys knew this was coming, I'm taking my L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. This is my all-time favorite. I think it's better than any high-end mascara I've ever used. Please don't mind my fake tan fingers. It's like a well and truly time to scrub that tan off. I'm going to do it after this video. 
I just put some false lashes on off camera just because I don't have any affordable lashes at the moment, but I will list a few different brands down below that are really similar to this style, but affordable. So now let's move on to the face. I'm going to take the Benefit Hula Bronzer and I'm just going to use this to contour under my cheekbones. So I'm just going to use an angled brush and also my jawbone as well. I'm just going to dust off as much as I can. Rub it on my towel. And then I'm going to take the Sleek Face Contour Kit in light. Oh my god, I'm so nervous. I've never used this before. No ways. Ooh, that's pretty good. This shade's actually really nice. As you can see, this is more of like a red tone than this one. This is just really neutral and like brown. Now for bronzer, I'm going to take the MAC Gold Deposit and the Milani Baked Bronzer in the shade Golden. This one here is obviously a lot more orange tone than this color, but let's see if we can make it work. So just putting this basically on top of my contour. This is absolutely stunning. I love this. I'm also just going to put this around my forehead. This has like a lot of shimmers throughout it, so it just makes your skin look so luminous. Just brushing off all of that product and then going in with the Milani one. I really like this for a cheaper bronzer, um, but this one again is like more ready tone than the golden gold deposit. I'm just going to bake with the Rimmel on this side and the Laura Mercier on this side because, well, that was just like really intense and it went everywhere. Now for blush, I'm taking the NARS in the shade Amour and the Essence Blush in the shade Bury Me Up. As you can see, the shades are very similar and this one is just as buttery as NARS. It is so pigmented. I love the Essence Blushes. Just taking a very small amount of the NARS because these are so pigmented. I'm just going to put this on the apples and then blend it back. Let's do this. Let's brush away this bake. And see what we're left with. Oh my god, this one's so hard to blend off. Why? Now for highlight, I'm going in with the Becca highlight in the shade Opal. And then the Nude by Nature little palette that I picked up. So I'm going to use the shade on the end right here to match this one. So let's go in. I love doing my highlighter so much. I'm also going to put this on the tip of my nose. I can't really do half of my nose, so I'm just going to use this one. Now going in with the one by Nude by Nature, I just brushed off any excess product. I've never used this, I'm excited. Ooh. Now for the lips, I'm taking the Kylie Jenner Cosmetics Lip Line in the shade Dolce K and then the NYX Lip Pencil in the shade Natural. So just going in with Kylie. I'm not sure if this is exactly like high-end, but let's just go with it. Now going in with the NYX one. I would just say that the Kylie Cosmetics one is a bit more creamy and the NYX one is probably a shade warmer. But I think I like this color better. Now for the lipstick, I'm taking the MAC in the shade Yash and then the Clinique in the shade... I'll list it down below. I absolutely love MAC lipsticks. They're my favorite. So because the two shades are a bit different, I'm going to go in with a gloss on both sides. So on the high-end side, I'm taking the Dose of Colors in Undressed and the ColourPop in the shade Fairy Floss. I absolutely love the ColourPop glosses. And then to set all of this makeup down in place, I'm going in with the Urban Decay All Nighter in Long Lasting and the Maybelline Wear Boosting Setting Spray. I absolutely swear by the Urban Decay setting sprays. Like, whoa. Okay, that just smelled like a fart. Gross. So here we have the finished makeup look. This just goes to prove that you don't actually need a really expensive makeup to have a nice makeup look. Sometimes um, high-end products are just easier to work with, but in today's video, I think both of the products on each side worked really, really well. I'm super impressed with all of the drugstore products. I think they look absolutely gorgeous. Um, the bronzer maybe is just a little bit 
too intense, but that's my fault, so what can you do? If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up, and if you want me to do more as well, let me know, and I'm going to be more than happy to do that. And yeah, I love you guys so much, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!